Many of you are asking me to do a video on Enphase stock after it had a pretty big down move after earnings. I believe it went down somewhere like 15 or 20% from earnings, which is a very big move. And the stock pretty much topped out in 2022, somewhere around just $340 per share. And now it's sitting at $159 per share. And many of you are asking me if this is a good buying opportunity. Because normally whenever we have a dip in a certain stock, people immediately go rush and just buy the dip without even looking if maybe the stock didn't actually get cheaper maybe it got just less expensive maybe it got 20 percent less expensive instead of it being a bargain but maybe Enphase is finally a bargain after such a big move and this is what i'm gonna try to analyze in today's uh, video now Enphase has actually been one of the best performing stocks over the past five years since may of 2018 it's up over 3378 percent massive Massive performance. I mean, amazing for what you get in 20 years. You got it for five years if you were actually holding, you know, end phase. And at one point, it was up pretty close to 7,000%. And now it's up 3,300% from uh, 2018 and most of you are familiar with Enphase and I have to be honest I am not the best at actually analyzing the clean energy technologies and which one is better which one is worse but I know Enphase has a good reputation I know Enphase has a very high market share in the United States and they are doing a lot of expansions in Europe and in many other countries but Enphase has pretty much everything you could dream of if you really want to have solar things in your home they have the batteries the IQ battery storage is one of the best i heard in the industry a lot of people actually like it there's a lot of good reviews around it they have the ev chargers they have everything you could pretty much want from the cloud from the micro inverters from the combiner from everything you could really want to have a system a solar system clean energy system whatever you want to call it in your own house with the ev charger and all these kind of things and face can do it all for you and they have been doing amazingly well in 2021 2022 mainly because of government subsidies but also because of cheap financing a lot of people were installing those with zero percent interest and now there's no more zero percent interest so they started to face you know some slowdown in their own uh, business but Enphase has been actually amazing in terms of innovation they have a capital light business model but most of the money they make they spend it on more innovation so they can keep increasing their value share and this was their value share in 2019 it's around two thousand dollars per home it went to $9,000 in 2021 and in 2022 they actually have more products and now it's around $12,000 per home. And the question is can they actually continue increasing such value as they have pretty much everything you could want. I mean what else can they really uh, do and this is why Enphase has started you know to feel a slowdown uh, on their earnings reports they put in a guidance of 34 percent revenue growth for the next quarter which is amazing 34 percent but the stock used to grow 60 to 70 percent if you look at the forward PE ratio for Enphase it's sitting pretty close to 28 times earnings and 28 times earnings has actually been the lower end of the range for uh, something like Enphase it bottomed in 2020 around you know somewhere 18 times earnings but the average has been around 50 times but somewhere around 27 to 28 times earnings has been a pretty good buy for Enphase but there's something you have to pay attention to if you actually like Enphase and I noticed most people are actually not talking about this and if you look at the difference between Enphase gap EPS and normalized or adjusted EPS there's a massive massive difference if you look in 2021 they have when they had the massive growth EPS normalized was 241 EPS gap was a dollars and two cents now in 2022 this is when they had the big move in the stock price adjusted EPS was four dollars and 62 cents EPS gap was two dollars and 77 cents this is a massive massive difference between the two this adjusted EPS is a very manipulated metric a lot of these companies are using but the main reason it's so manipulated and why people say yes but Enphase is free cash flow positive and Enphase is the only profitable thing in the solar industry which might be true but it's largely due to the massive 
gross in stock based compensation this is a real expense but they adjust for it on the non-gap eps and this is why it looks so uh, amazing if you look at from 2020 it went from 42 to 114 to 216 in 2022 this is massive massive growth in stock based compensation and this is really hurting shareholders in the long term but if you actually try to value and face on a gap eps of 277 the forward pe ratio is not 27 it's something like 50 or 50 54, and this is actually on forward earnings not you know trailing earnings so this is something you have to pay attention to if you are actually trying to value and face it's not as profitable as you're saying it's not such a massive free cash flow generator it's largely due to the stock based compensation which you really have to pay you know uh, attention to but in this video now i'm gonna focus on my own valuation model and this is the best way i can determine if enphase is actually a good buying opportunity or not now they made around 2.3 billion in 2022 in terms of revenues and i put in the revenue growth around 20 percent why did i put in 20 percent because if you look at how they were growing before before the you know massive expansion in 2021 before the pandemic enphase was growing around 24 percent revenues then in 2021 they grew 78 percent revenue in 2022 they grew 68 percent revenue 2023 is expected 30 percent then 26 22 10 and even eight and a half percent in 2027 but i believe no one can predict 2027 so for me to be on the safe side of the equation i don't want to use 30 percent and 26 percent i believe 20 percent revenue growth is very very fair their net income margin before the pandemic was 25 percent now it's 27 and have but i also use 25 percent net income margin and this is including the whole thing with stock-based compensation which i personally don't like but this is how you know the market is valuing these stocks it's been valuing them this way and will likely continue to value them this way so i use the 25 percent net income margin pe ratio of 20 times earnings now if i used 25 times earnings instead of 20 times i can actually get around 81 percent on the upside which is actually not bad at all but if the analysts are right and by 2027 and face is growing 8 to 10 percent only every single year then the pe ratio is not going to be you know 25 or 30 or 40 or 50 so for me personally if you use a 25 times earnings which it could trade at 25 times you could get 81 percent on the upside or 13% compounded every single year for the next five years. But if you made a mistake, if Enphase cannot grow 20%, if something goes wrong and it trades at 20 times earnings five years from now, then the upside is only 45% or 8% compounded every single year for the next five years. Now, the share price required for me to get a double on Enphase on the worst case scenario, this is not the best case scenario. The best case scenario, maybe Enphase goes to net income margin of 30%, maybe it trades back at 30 times earnings i mean if you put in you know uh, 30 times earnings for uh, end phase you're getting 117 percent maybe it grew revenues more so i can't really predict those things but on the worst case scenario in my personal opinion for me to get a double on end phase i have to buy it somewhere around the 105 dollars per share and 105 dollars per share is somewhere i mean it's pretty low it's below whatever it was you know before uh, 2021 and i'm not sure if end phase will actually get there but for me personally if I was someone that was desperate to buy Enphase, I don't think Enphase is such a bad buy at such prices. I think there's a lot of fear in the stock, and I think it made a pretty big and very fast correction in the share price. But if I'm someone, which I am, that's more conservative around all those things, and maybe there's some new innovation that's going to take over Enphase business model, or maybe they don't want solar anymore, or maybe something changes around the world, then in this case, I want my downside protected, and in this case, I would want to be buying and face around the $105 per share or below. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. So I hope to see you in another video.